Welcome back to Bike for Adventure. Today we decided to stop off at of Badawa, uh, Ski Hill. Haven't been here well over a year. See how the trails are. So we're sticking to the south side here, just to get some nice lanes in. Wanna, done a couple rides on this bike as you've seen if you watched my previous videos. So I'm still getting used to it, still getting used to what it can do. Still getting used to what it wants to do at high speeds and slow speeds. So, but I do say, I, I really, 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 and I've said this before, I really like this rock and mountains altitude. I actually got to the park about half an hour ago, but decided to check my shock fluid and which one is the one I want. Okay, it's that pink one. What's that pink one? The light pink one, Evergreen Trail. Yeah, that's the one I want. That's gonna take me along the bottom side, up to the bottom of the switchbacks. Then we'll climb up there. And then we'll climb up the switchbacks and then do that slow, gradual climb up to the top and we'll do a couple trails down. So that's my story. Some leaves are down, starting to get a little leafy, but not to the point where I can say traction is going to suck. A little bit of a hill here. Yes. Nice steady climb. 
<laughs> yeah, not enough leaning forward on that. <sighs> All right, <sighs> we shall just try it again. <sighs> Gotta learn to get forward on this bike. Let's try with this upcoming switch track. myself and uh, leaning forward there we go another one up uh, Cardinal Way. This is a bit of a climb. <sighs> Beautiful fall leaves. Starting to come down here. Beautiful day. So let's get up to 17 today. That's absolutely beautiful. I know right now I'm wearing a, a long sleeve shirt, biking. Ooh. And uh, could have gone with something a little lighter, but I know when I started biking, though, it was a little cool on the chest area. So, you know, it's funny how your mind will remember parts of the trail. But then it conveniently forgets the parts that are absolutely pain in the ass. I remember it was a slight upgrade, but I don't remember that there's a lot of punchy points. And some of the points that were just super steep. Oh. <sighs> Loose, punchy, fucking climb. We're getting there. So I'm at the top of battle right here. You've seen the view, beautiful view. Somewhere up here 
on the trail is some fucking dog owner who didn't pick up their fucking dog poop. And so here I am, scraping up dog shit off the fucking tire of my fucking bike because some owner's too fucking lazy to pick up dog shit. Sorry for Ben, folks. I just fucking. I have a dog. I pick up all my fucking dog shit all the fucking time. Doesn't matter where we are. I hate fucking dog shit. Throw that in the fucking fire. Alright, anyways, done my venting. I don't know if this will stay on the video or not, but done my venting on dog shit. Front tire looks to be okay, so it looks like just. Must have been going around the corner and just caught it with the rear tire. Anyways, let's go decide what trail we're doing. Just had it. So, we got two choices here. And we can do the blue one. never done the lookout trail. I don't know if I want to do that one. I think... I think we'll try heading down the Chickadee Trail. Oh, that one's a blue one. Let's go down... Uh, let's do the fun one that I know I like. <sighs> let's do that. Uh, yeah, it's Pioneer Ridge. I'm going to go down to Pioneer Ridge. I know I like that one. Pioneer Ridge is a biking only trail, but we're gonna Pioneer Ridge. I didn't fucking bug you. Holy shit. Ugh. This is a bike only, no hikers trail. Climb here. Little bit of rocks here. Shows my line. This one I'm taking high and around. <laughs> Wasn't prepared for that one, forgot about that one, so did a roundabout. Love this trail, great trail. Not quite sure what I hit there, but. Slowing it down here for a minute. It's a nice long trail.
Oh. Uh, got the chicken flopping so hard it squeaked. <laughs> Love it. And that, folks, brought us all the way down to the bottom. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna drop in what I believe is called the Maple Trail. So it should be interesting. I'm gonna try to pay attention for the uh, where they have the drops. So. I remember one time we went up this way. on this trail. Thank you. I keep having to think to myself, move the body forward, move the body forward. And it's working. Oh. So I'm at the drop section. There's that big drop, you can see it from here. That's gotta be a four foot drop. And the other two drops, I'm not sure if you can see them through the, through the trees up there. Those ones I know I can do no problem. I honestly, I need to do this with someone though. 
someone who can help and guide me. So, you know, sorry folks, it's not gonna happen today, but it will happen. I just gotta maybe get a couple friends out here. I can get Slade or Steve out here. Or Paul. Just someone who can call 911 if I need to. <laughs> or someone that I can follow through on the drops. You know, that'll be the other thing. So. Still time left. I know a couple weekends I'm busy with cadets still. One weekend at some point, I'm in Wayne Ray, Alberta for some training. And then I think next weekend, I might be on expedition. If I'm not on an expedition, it might be worth a trip with some friends down here or up, yeah, down here. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Might be a good time to go back and hit Durham Forest as well. My gravel bike's in for a uh, bit of a surgery going tubeless uh, again some new tires that'll do the winter and mud that type of stuff uh, but yet still be fast rollable on hard surfaces so I kind of combo all around tire there you are back at the bottom of the Battle Ski Hill. I was just gonna call it a short ride for today. 